Okay, as you can see, I start my day off like normal. I wake up, play with my dog a little bit, take the biggest piss of my life, brush my teeth, wash my mouth out, and then I'll proceed to go into the kitchen and make me some breakfast. My breakfast usually is like oatmeal. That's just what I like to eat. And so, like, that's that's my morning routine on non-work days. Uh, on days that I work, uh, it's like 12-hour shifts from 7 in the morning to 7 at night. So, I don't get to train, which is a bummer. But at the same time, I'm making money to keep me and Katie afloat. So, you got to do what you got to do. You got to put that grind in. You just got to do it. Uh, I like my job. It's just, it's not the end goal. It's not what I'm going to school for. But it is a nice job, and I get to do homework while... I, I get to do homework sometimes while I'm working, so it does help me out with being able to do school, and I appreciate that aspect of it. But that's my typical morning, uh, based off of the type of day, because we also do no gi as well as gi days. Um, I'll pack my bag the night before, or I'll pack the truck or whatever, and I'll just I usually leave a fresh gi in the truck and some extra shorts in the truck. <clears throat> Just to have it with me so that way I don't forget or I make sure to wash them because uh, always like tip number one, like wash your geese after every single use. Wash your rash guards after every use because those things get super sweaty and smell disgusting, like horrific if you let them sit overnight or a couple of nights. It's just absolutely terrible and it, it could ruin your uh, ghee, which some geese are like $60, some are up to like $300. So um, if you invest the money into that good equipment, you want to take care of it. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so I'm about to go train. Uh, I'm not going to film any of my training because I don't want you guys to see any of my secrets. No, uh, just to be honorable to the gym and to my coach. I don't want to do any of that without his permission or anything like that. So I'm going to go train and I will see you guys when I get back. Peace. All right, so we're back uh, from training. It was good. It was uh, two hours of training, uh, about 45 minutes of an hour of live rolling. It's kind of like our sparring for jiu-jitsu. Uh, it was tough. Um, we went over some really good techniques, refreshing, good warm-up, um, good class, all around great guys to train with. And one of the things I like about this gym is like, white belts get to you know i don't think every gym you get to roll with your black belt almost every uh every time you train so it's really cool to have that experience even though like he totally dominates the match but like you get to learn you get to figure out stuff if you're present in the moment you get to figure out like what you did wrong and of course he you know you just ask questions and we've got a great instructor here um on top of the brown belts and uh all the other guys at the gym they're awesome but uh yeah so i'm about to go back inside get something to eat and then we're gonna do some homework i'm not gonna film the homework or anything i might show you guys a little bit of what i'm eating today um but yeah so i will see you guys when i get done making my meal this is my normal lunch usually like i'll do the baya or bahi i'm probably butchering that but usually it's like coconut with lime or it's the blue blueberry <clears throat> it's really good for like 
antioxidants or whatever, or that's what it says on the bottle. Um, I just feel like it reduces inflammation. And then I've got the sugar-free or low-calorie peach mango body armor. Um, it's really good for potassium. It's made with like coconut oil or coconut water. Really good um, for electrolytes and stuff like that. Um, the Smart Water, they came out with an antioxidant. Smart Water, this is actually my second one today. So you guys can see a pattern here, antioxidants, anti-inflammatory. Really helps with the joints. Um, and then for my actual food is three red potatoes, two pieces of uh, pork tenderloin that has been cooked in a crock pot with like garlic and some honey. And then for like a little snack to go with the pork loin is some Triscuit smoked Gouda crackers. None of these brands I have deals with. I'm not getting paid to say any of this stuff. But this is my typical lunch. Like I'll drink both of those and I'll have a whole, I'll have like a gallon of water a day. And I'll, um, I just started adding in the Triscuit crackers just for a little bit of fiber. Help me out with that kind of stuff. I can have two meals like this and I'll still be under my calorie content because of how much I've exercised today. So, um, give y'all a little close up of the food. A little potatoes, salt and pepper, pork loin, a little butter in there, olive oil. Um, my wife has the recipe. I'll see if I can find it, but yeah, that's gonna be my lunch. I'm gonna eat this up real quick. All right guys, so we're back in the truck. I'm about to go to the night class for Jiu Jitsu. It's no gi just like this afternoon was. Um, I just woke up from a nap, usually like 30 minutes before class. That way I feel re well rested. And tonight after class, I'll probably take like an Epsom salt bath to help with like aches and pains and stuff like that. Not to say that like Jiu Jitsu causes aches and pains, but like anyone who watches this and has done jiu-jitsu you kind of know what i'm talking about but for those who have not done jiu-jitsu it's a contact sport it's rigorous um there's a lot of repetitive motion and then there's also like you're trying to go against the joints or possibly choke someone um while they're trying to do the same for you so in in the mitts of battle if you will um you're straining and your opponent is straining to do certain techniques to you so it can cause stiffness so soreness and <clears throat> all kinds of good stuff all you got to do is just make sure you take care of your body and treat it like a temple it's kind of hard um but you get you get better at it with time of course i'm not i haven't perfected it um but you do get better with it so just a little piece of advice. Uh, definitely try to take care of your body as much as you can. And in times of rest, get your rest. And in times of relaxation, make sure that you're actively trying to recover with like stretching and um, supplements and things like that that actually work and help you. All right. So I'll see you guys after class. All right, guys, we just got back home, or I just got back home. Uh, it's like 8 o'clock, um, super tired, good training. Uh, we went over some new stuff, <clears throat> just had a lot of fun with the rolls, got some good rounds in, got a good sweat going, kept the heart elevated. I'm about to go eat another meal that was prepped, and then I will we'll shower go to bed and wake back up and do it all over again so this has been like a day uh with me like this is my typical training day and i enjoy it thoroughly have i have a lot of fun and this is essentially what's helped me lose so much weight